hello, good evening and welcome once again back to the channel. My name is Andy and tonight it is Monday evening. It is Next Gen Racing's Chloe Hewitt Cooper Cup. It is round number three on Gran Turismo Sport and it is Kyoto Miyabi, the short version of the Kyoto track. Obviously Mini Coopers, 1050 kilograms, 150 horsepower. We've got two races coming your way this evening. Once again, 15 lap sprint race and a 30 lap feature race. Bound to be more exciting, frantic, fast and furious action coming your way on the channel. And do stick around. We're into qualifying there. You're watching Scar Wars at the moment in the next gen machine coming round turn one. He is on a flying lap at the moment and we've got qualifying 15 minute session here for qualifying and I'll be back with you in just a second once I've advertised myself because you've got to keep that going and I'm going to just quickly tweet this. There we go, that's taken care of the obligatories now. So, you're seeing the drivers coming around at the moment. Scar Wars in fourth place at the moment. Top of the standings is Psycho Dynamic. Winner last time out at Brands Hatch in race number one. Didn't do too well in race number two during the pit stop phase. And you can see here, very short track at Kyoto Miyabe. And it is causing the traffic. I mean, you see Scorpio Dodge, Dino Blaster, Fred, Rip Cross, and Psycho Dynamic, who's been dropped down to second now as Game Ranger jumps up into first place. Psychodynamic was a little bit quicker on that lap time. It's still not able to gain back up the positions. Now, I'm going to do my best to try and keep up with things uh, through tonight because tonight is the first round where the drivers are now split into classes. Um, so it is pro, pro arm and arm classes, giving everybody the opportunity to gain points for their own standings. Now I've not got everybody, I've got everybody's real names, I've not got everybody's uh, username, so I'm going to do my best to keep up with that as I'm ticking along and getting all that info for you as well. But tonight is the first night where we see points going on as Game Ranger takes another one hundredth of a second off his lap time in the pole position there at the moment. And this is going to be the interesting part for this track. So around about 45, 46 seconds to do a lap. Any improvements are going to be hundreds, if not thousands, of a second. So for this kind of track, it's all about nailing every single corner. You cannot make a mistake, because if you do, it's going to cost you tenths of a second. And in this track here, tenths is going to matter hugely around this place. So you've got to be absolutely on it. You can see there, everybody using and abusing the curbs already, just basically straight line in that last corner. Um, so we're going to see quite a bit of that as we go through. Let's run you through the runners and riders tonight. Game Ranger is there in the GSBatteries.com machine. He's pole position at the moment. Scar Wars in the NGR machine currently in second place. Uh, having just been put down to third place because Psychodynamic has just gone into pole position. Despite the fact he's got Fred and Dino Blaster in front of him. There, these three are basically racing already. And Psychodynamic tries to push the Dutchman through turn one. Um, Scar Wars is in third place. Rip Cross in fourth place in the stand up to cancer machine. Then, as I say, Dino Blaster in fifth place at the moment, having that ding dong and qualifying between him, uh, Fred, and Psychodynamic. Sixth place at the moment is Dino Blaster actually has gone to sixth place. Bixie is now in fifth place. So the standings changing really, really quickly. There is Dino Blaster now down to seventh place. And you can see the times are changing rapidly as the Burnt Fry is now in fourth place. A newcomer to the series tonight. Not seen him so far in the first couple of races. He's currently fourth place, two and a half times down. And uh, then we've got Rip Cross, Big Z, Dino Blaster. And then there's NGR Cutler in eighth place at the moment in the A Reeve Motorsport Machine. Ninth place is Fred Fredo, which is uh, Fred Hewitt, Chloe's uh, brother, racing here for the second week. Going great to have him along. As always, 
India Cuddles is in a 10th place. That is Chloe's livery that he is racing in. And he's currently in 10th place at the moment. 11th is Scorpio Dirge. You can see him there coming through to cross the line. Will he improve on his lap time? He does not. Must have got an invalid on that one there. Surpetitiously is in 12th place. Glaswegian running in the catch me uh, number plate on that one. I always love that number plate. It's absolutely brilliant. 13th NGR Mad Marshall uh, coming through there using the Sparks machine there. I believe Mad Marshall recently just had surgery done as well. So he's working his way through, I think it was on angles or something. I'm not too sure. I'm sure he'll correct me at some point if he's watching. Um, but he's still here tonight racing. So fair play to you, my friend. Absolutely brilliant. You're long for tonight. Psychodynamic, though, still in first place at the moment uh, in the standings there. And hello once again, Casper, uh, obviously uh, now becoming a regular to my channel, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, comment below saying, interesting, it is a very short circuit. It is indeed, Casper, as I say, about 46 seconds roughly for a lap time. So it's going to be frantic and fast and furious the whole race long. But thank you very much one more time for joining us this evening. It's great to have you along once again. Hello to all 12 people currently on the channel at the moment. Absolutely fantastic to have you all along here for tonight's proceedings. We're currently in qualifying for race number one, which is the shorter sprint race. And you can see there, Psychodynamic is currently the pole sitter. Just going wide there as he decides to back out of that lap. He had a Dino Blaster right behind him there. And as you can see, with the short track, traffic is going to be a problem. It's going to be the equivalent of the M8 through Glasgow at rush hour on a Friday night when everyone's trying to get home and get out. So, going to be fun to see how this one goes through. But Psychodynamic, a 45.3. 6 0 is the pulse at the moment. Only 4 one hundredths clear of this man, NGR Game Ranger, in second. Scar Wars in third as the camera gets absolutely decimated there by surreptitiously going through it. Scar Wars is third. He's uh, just over a tenth down on pole. Uh, the Burnt Fry is just ahead of Scar Wars there. He's in fourth, two, nearly three tenths down at the moment. He's coming across the line. We'll see if he improves on his lap time. And he does not improve on this occasion, so he'll go one more time. NGR Bigsy, fifth place in the EST machine, uh, three times down as well as you see Mad Marshall staying right out of the way. Uh, Rip Cross crossing the line in the stand up to cancer machine, he's currently sixth place, he's also three and a bit times down as well. Dino Blaster came into pit lane, so he's decided for a fresh set of tyres to try and set his lap time on. NGR Cutler there in the A Reeve Motorsport machine, he's nearly five times down, half a second shy. Fredo, uh, Fred Hewitt in the number, is ninth place at the moment, sorry, not number nine. He's uh, just over five tenths down as well. NGR Cuddles is in tenth place, just shy of six tenths down at the moment. Scopio Dirge in tenth place, um, he is seven tenths down, surreptitiously, uh, sorry, surreptitiously is eleventh. He's a second down at the moment. Marv Marshall in the pits, he's also a second down as well. And Big Z has dropped to the back of the field at the moment, so obviously a bit of a glitch going on there, because he was fifth a moment ago. So surely that will change once he comes back out of pit lane. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dino Blaster, dropping in a little comment. Hopefully a wee like on there as well. Yep, get back out there onto the track, my friend, and put in a lap time. Currently sixth place at the moment is the Dutchman, showing some really good pace throughout this uh, first couple of rounds so far. Uh, so I'm expecting to see you up towards the top end of things. Dino Blaster is one of the drivers in the pro class. So the fastest drivers are in the pro class. We've got six drivers in there, I believe. Uh, we've then got the next four or five drivers are in Pro-Am, and then the remaining drivers are in the Am class. So everybody's got their own championship to fight for. It means that if you're at the back, if you don't feel you're too quick, you've still got something to challenge for, you've still got your own championship to chase after. So absolutely brilliant to see. I'll do my best to keep you abreast of things as much as I can, but I, because of work, I've not had the chance to take down everybody's name and who's in what class, so I'll do my absolute best to keep that one up to date as best as I can do as the night goes on. But we're coming up towards the last five minutes now of this qualifying session, and the man on your screen, Psychodynamic, is currently in first place. Let's go for a bit of an onboard lap of this extremely short track here at Kyoto Miyabi. 
and we come across the line to start the lap just now here with Dino Blaster. Uh, sorry, Psycho Dynamic, apologies. Up to fourth gear, just over 100 miles an hour, drops it into fifth gear and then just throws it in. And look at that, not even lifting at all there really. There's a little bit of a lift mid corner and drop the speed drops to about 90 or so miles an hour, but fifth gear all the way through turn one. Coming up to turn two now and again, still staying in fifth gear. You can pretty much keep it in the same gear the whole way round. Use as much of the curb as you can, both left and right. Use the exit curb a little bit as well. And then the braking, the only real braking zone here, down to fourth gear, just over 70 miles an hour, although the psychic dynamic had to go wide there due to a car on the inside. I believe that was Mad Marshall. And then once again, flatten the throttle through the final chicane. Use as much of the curb as possible. And across the line you go. And that lap time is not an improvement, as you will not be surprised, having got caught up with a little bit of traffic there through the final corner. But he's still provisional pole by four one hundredths of a second, or 48 thousandths of a second, from NGR Game Ranger, who is in second. He's actually just about to cross the line just now. Can he improve on his lap time anything at all? And he's not able to improve at the moment, so he carries on for another lap. Let's just see here. Who goes Scar Wars? He's actually getting a draft off a Dino Blaster, so that might just help him to improve his lap time, maybe, but not on this occasion. We'll just follow this one through here, see how he handles being behind the Dutchman. Uh, these two showing pretty good pace already um, around the qualifying session. We know Dino Blaster's quick, fighting for uh, wins in the first round at Dragon Trail, the Croatian fictional track with some phenomenal scenery around there. Scar Wars has just backed out of that lap now to give himself a bit of space. And here comes GTP Rip Cross uh, and the stand up to Cancer Machine. He's coming through just now. What can he do on this lap time? You can see there Scar Wars keeping to the left hand side to allow the Dutchman through. Coming through the final chicane using the curbs there. Really using the curbs through the second part. And let's see, how can he do going across the line? Does he improve in his lap time? He does not, so not much improvement. As I say, it's going to be hard to get improvement because it is going to be literally tenths of a second. It's going to be very, very little in it, so keep an eye on things as it goes along. I do notice that NGR Cutler has moved his way up into fifth place in the A Reef Motorsport Machine. He is in the pro class as well, so we can certainly expect to see him towards the front. Dino Blaster has moved up to 6th place there as we see NGR Bigsy coming through in the AST machine uh, coming through the turns 2 and 3 using as much of the curb as possible one more time as we can see there that is Mad Marshall I believe it says on the Sparks machine he's got the indicator on to the left which is usually something that your granny would do on a Sunday afternoon trip to Asda so you know I'm sure that's not intentional. Bigsy using a little bit of the grass there as he really pushes it. Can he improve on 7th place? And no, he does not. So not much improvement going on at the moment. As I say, with it being so close, it is very hard to make improvement. Here is Fred coming through. He's got, obviously, that variation in his sister's uh, livery. Instead of the zebra print, he's got the uh, leopard print on it instead. And we've got a yellow flag up ahead. So someone is possibly off the track around the corner, I can see in the map, it's just off to the left hand side, there is a car sitting somewhere, not sure who that is, they stayed out of the way, you just seen them flash through the screen, there they are, it was uh, NGR Cuddles actually, in Chloe's liveried car, so he's staying well out of the way there, and Fred goes across the line, still in 8th place at the moment, there is Cuddles, trying to stay out of the way, he's got his indicator on as well, to indicate, um, staying out of your way, please carry on through, and I believe that is Big Z going through past him at the moment. Scopio Dirge coming through turn one as well. We'll see what he can do in the other Amy Motorsport machine. And um, he has got the orange and grey car that he has there. So a little bit different to the one that we see for NGR Cutler. And uh, next gen's Dark Sykes. Hi guys. Hello there. Uh, thanks for joining us as well in the stream. I'm going to be having the final coming up, so that is qualifying over, and it's Game Ranger who has jumped to the top of the standings. He's flashing his lights, he's pretty happy at that indeed, so we're coming up to start the first race of the evening here, 
at Kyoto Miyabe and this is bound to be action packed. Hopefully the drivers keep it clean going through turn one and I will pick up the standings later on. We usually get a little bit of a five minute interlude between uh, the end of race one and the start of uh, qualifying for race two so I will try and keep up with that. But here we go waiting for the lights for round number one of this evening's series. It's round three of the Chloe Hewitt Cooper Cup here on Next Gen Racing. Green light is on and we are underway and it looks like it's been a decent start for Game Ranger out front on pole position and he's got Psychodynamic trying to pull alongside, he's managed to get clear there, you can see a full grid of cars here, fantastic to see, and they're going side by side through turn one, Scar Wars trying to follow and he drops in behind there on Psychodynamic, he's going to try and get the run through turn number one and through, not turn number two, but Rip Cross is right beside him as well, so he's going to have to be very careful. He might lose out on another place if he's not careful too. And just bringing it back, just trying to get the camera angle perfect. There we go. Dino Blaster's in there. NGR Cutler's made a move up. He's into fifth place. Dino Blaster is in there as well. Scar Wars has run wide there. He's actually lost a number of places. He's having a bit of a door rub. Uh, going on there with Dino Blaster and they're still bumping coming down the front straight. Behave yourself guys, this is still lap one, a long way to go in this race, even if it will pass quickly and you can see everybody covered in the one place there in Psychodynamic going up the inside the Game Ranger into turn one, it looks like he's got that move done and that is a move for the lead so Psychodynamic moves into first place uh, ahead of Game Ranger there coming in behind Rip Cross is ahead of NGR Cutler you've got Dino Blaster, Scar Wars and Big C coming through Fred's on the back of that one as well Game Ranger looking to have a look at Psychodynamic things better off it going into the turn Fred is up the inside he's ghosted slightly there alongside Big Z and he managed to avoid any contact Scar Wars still there Rip Cross using as much of the grass as he can and the burnt fry is sitting on the back of this and Cutler and Dino Blaster going side by side with the looks at there just trying to jump back to them there we go Dino Blaster on the outside Cutler on the inside, uh, Dino Blaster getting the move done there and now Scar Wars uh, and Big C are battling over 6th place, Scar Wars have started for moving backwards at a bit of a rate of knots here and that's the problem, you get out of position into one corner and it takes a number of laps to get that back, Big C's lost a bit of ground there though, gone wide and it's going to allow Fred to do a little bit of a NASCAR bumper bump on him it's allowed Scar Wars back up to fifth place. Oh, Scar Wars all over the road there. Big Z nearly went into the stadium, running very, very wide as is Scorpio Dirge surpetitiously in the background there with NGR Cuddles. Game Ranger, though, has got the slipstream on Psychodynamic. He pulls to the inside for turn number one. Can he redo the move that he got done to him through the first couple of laps there? And a lap four. Dino Blaster having a go at his fellow Dutchman in the background. Game Ranger makes that move done, and Dino Blaster looks like he's got the move done on Rip Cross as well, so he's through also up into third place. Game Ranger and Psychodynamic, though, are still nearly side by side through the chicane. Game Ranger manages to pull in front. You'd expect Psychodynamic to be having a go here. That's Rip Cross on the grass doing some rally crossing. He's going to lose a place there, possibly to NGR Cutler if he is not careful. And I'm not going to lose. I'm going to lose my breath if this is like this for 30 laps in the feature race. I'll tell you that much right now. Um, but yes, yeah, so Cutler managed to make the move there on Rip Cross, who got wide, picked up a little bit of a time penalty to go with it. Scar Wars still in sixth. Fredo there in seventh place. Psychodynamic looking to the inside now. Or first the outside, then the inside. The Game Ranger. He's got the run. He's basically bumper to bumper here. Can he get through? Game Ranger just closes it off. And that's Rip Cross off in the background there. Into the wall, into the grass. He's going to lose a lot of places now. There goes NGR Cuddles. There goes surreptitiously Mad Marshall there in the background. So he's lost a lot of ground there. Possibly still going slowly. So maybe got some damage or possibly a wheel disconnection on his end. We'll soon see. He's dropped to the back of the field. And we're further away through this race and it has just been non-stop from the beginning and there's Cutler and Dino Blaster Cutler on the grass there trying to go through hello to Josh as well and uh, the second race is 30 laps cast but it is indeed so you can imagine how my voice is going to be after doing 30 laps of this holy moly uh, it's now lap number six of 15 and there's Cutler and Dino Blaster into turn number one going side by side one more time you can see Fred has managed to get up into fifth place with Scar Wars but they're side by side coming up to the chicane they're not really going to go oh side by side they're touching wheels can they keep it together 
bump and door handle to door handle. The bunt fries getting a run on Big C coming up to the breaking zone. Fred drifting into the corner. A little bit of a touch there from Scar Wars in the next gen machine. But Fred holds on for now and he has moved up into fifth place. Coming across the line now though for the sixth time to start lap seven. Scar Wars having a look at Fred. Dino Blaster looking at Cutler. Fred's going to have to cut off and Scar Wars going to the inside now. Oh, Fred into turn number one, using the curb, that's going to push him wide, he's caught the grass there, a little bit of mistake there from the uh, Scar Wars, he's got the move done, the bump was unintentional, caught the curb, caught the grass, just pushed him wide, and you can see in the background, Bigsy and the Burnt Fry, Bigsy's got the move done on Burnt Fry there, going into the chicane, trying to cover everybody, Scorpio Dodge has got a bit of a gap, he's two seconds behind this, three seconds ahead, surreptitiously, Cuddles is in 11th and bumping wheels there with Mad Marshall. He moves into 11th place. He's to having a bit of a ding dong towards the back there. Rip Cross trying to make his way back through. Uh, he's now at the back of the field into turn number one. Here goes Psycho Dynamic. He is pushing Game Ranger through. Let's try and get an on board camera there if we can get the right one. Where are we? There we go. Roof camera. That's what we wanted to see. Coming through the chicane. We jump to the number one machine. There you go. You see the rear view looking back at Psychodynamic. No time for replays here tonight. It's just ongoing action and Psychodynamic backs out of the braking. But he's going to try and go up the inside now. Can he get the move done? He does not get it done for the meantime. We jump back to the off-board camera view and Cutler is still ahead. And look in the background there. Fred, Scar Wars, Big C, the Burnt Fry. They're almost trying to go through the corner together. That's never going to end well, guys. Careful goes. Uh, but Fred's still ahead at the moment. Big C, they lost a bit of ground there. The Burnt Fry is going to get the move done before turn one, is he? He cuts it through in the GD Stones machine and he gets the move done for now. So he is through and up into seventh place. Scar Wars looking to see if he can get a run on Fred now though. And can he do anything to get the move done? We're on lap 9 to 15. We're coming towards the end of this race fast and furiously indeed. And just keeping an eye on things. Oh, Fred all pulls to the inside and kind of pulls back across. He need to be careful. He can end up cutting someone's nose off there. Burnt Fry got a great run through that uh, right-hander there. Can he get a run on Scar Wars? He's got to go watch though because he has Bigsy right behind him as well. And they come across the line on the lap number 10 of 15. Bigsy's got himself a 0.4 second penalty. That'll be for catching the grass. And these four still keep it together. And look at the psycho dynamic once again. Right behind Game Ranger as they come up to the fast chicane. Forget what the timing is because they are so close you can't even blink between them. It's Game Ranger though keeping it steady. And Psychodynamic has to pull back in for in the meantime. Dino Blaster is still going. Here goes Scar Wars on Fred. Can he get the move done? He can. He's got to watch though because he's got two cars behind him looking to take advantage of this. And he's unable to do so for now. So Fred holds on for the meantime. Uh, Bixie's penalty is coming down. In fact, he's got no penalties left now. So he doesn't need to worry about that. Scar Wars looking to the outside. Fred covers the racing line up. They go through turn number one one more time. We look back, Scorpio Dodge is on his own, surreptitiously is fighting the NGR Cuddles here, coming up into turn one, and can Cuddles get the move done into turn one? Oh, surreptitiously the Glaswegian nearly turns in there on Cuddles, and he's got the inside line, surreptitiously trying to go the long way round, but Cuddles in Chloe Hewitt's uh, liveried car, looks like he's got the move done, but they're going to be side by side through the chicane, you can see the marbles at the side of the road, catching the grass there as Cuddles, can he get the move done? Oh, surreptitiously caught the curb there on the inside. Nearly a huge accident. Managed to hold it off and the avoid incident for now. And still up here, in fact, there's Cutler and Dino Blaster. Dino Blaster going to the outside now of the A Reeve Motorsport machine. This, uh, one of two of those cars, blue and black for that one. Big season, the other one, which is a grey and orange. And Dino Blaster pushing Cutler through towards turn two and three. Unable to get the move done though in the Mintex machine. Will he have a go up the inside coming up? He's going to look to the outside. Cutler takes to the inside for the racing line. Runs wide though at the apex. The Dutchman's going to have a run here. Can he get the move done? And he's through. It's took him a few laps to do it. 
He's finally got it done, but Cutler's going to try and come back at him straight away in the background. You see Scar Wars there uh, with Fred. They're going side by side across the line as well. Psychodynamics still not through on there. Cutler goes for a late move to the inside. We'll keep an eye on this and what's going on behind them as well. And Cutler's got the inside lane. Scar Wars looks like he's got the move done on Fred as well in the background. And Cutler and Dino Blaster are still side by side coming up to the chicane. This is surely not going to end well. They're touching door handle to door handle. Scar Wars got through on Fred in the background. Keep an eye on this one here though for the meantime. Dino Blaster on the outside trying to get the move done finally. Tries to cut into the inside lane but Cutler's still there. A little bit of a push there. That's going to allow Scar Wars the chance to sneak through Bass Pofferum. And we've now got a fight between all of these guys over the last podium as we come across the line. Scar Wars really cutting the grass there. Trying to get the move done on Cutler. He needs to be careful. He doesn't pick up a penalty. Fred needs to be patient here. He could pick up a couple of places if he just plays his cards right. Cutler holds on for the meantime though and Scar Wars and Fred will go side by side through turn one. Scar Wars in the next round machine has got the move done for now though and he pulls back in in front. He's quickly jumped back to the front though. Psychodynamic really trying to push it going through the fast chicane. Game Ranger though doing everything he can to hold on for in the meantime and we're coming up now to start the final lap of this race. Can Psychodynamic get the move done and in the background can anyone get on to the final step of the podium? Fredo, it's got past Scar Wars, bumping a little bit with Cutler. It is touring car racing, so you do expect a little bit of bump in there in the fairway. And Fredo trying to get the move done to make it up to fourth place. But Scar Wars now is trying to have a go at Fred now. So Fred from attacking is now defending. A little bit of bump into turn one. Can he do anything there? He's unable to do so. We need to jump back to the front though, because these two are coming up to the finish line. And will Psychodynamic, he's only got one opportunity, there's only one braking zone really into this track. Here it is, he's up the inside. Game Ranger's going to try and cut back and get a run to the line. Psychodynamic though, on the final lap of the race, takes the lead off the race. And he looks like he's going to hold it to cover off that Scar Wars off in the background. And Psychodynamic wins, Game Ranger in second, Dino Blaster is going to take third place, Cutler in fourth. Scar Wars is having a bump with the Bunt Fry. The Bunt Fry sneaks through into fifth place. Scar Wars in sixth. It's Fredo seventh. Pixie in eighth. Scorpio Dirge comes across in ninth. Cuddles will take tenth place. It's Ripcross having recovered from his earlier incident up into eleventh. Surpetitiously is twelfth. And you can see in the background Mad Marshall having had surgery last week as well. Didn't think he was going to be making it this week, but he is here. He's going to cross the line in first. And final place. And the fastest lap of the race goes to Psychodynamic with a 45.259. Whew! That was fun. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm going to cope with 30 laps of this in the future race, that's for sure. But, um, wow. A lot of action going on there. No need for a replays tonight because there's just so much going on. And that was some fantastic racing there, but Psychodynamic taking his second win of the season. He won the sprint race last week at Brands Hatch, so he takes his second sprint race win. And now we're going to have a small interlude before we go to qualifying for the second round. So as I normally do at this point, I'm going to pop a little bit of background music on through the headset because I need a minute to catch my breath. So I'll be back with you very shortly.
are back. So, about to have uh, qualifying for the second race, which is the feature race. 30 laps, tyre wear is on, fuel is on for this one as well. So, this is going to be interesting with such a short track also. Um, it's going to make for interesting battles as we've seen in round one uh, that was just absolutely phenomenal stuff i've obviously got the keyboard now to try and do the replays and yet no chance of getting any replays so just too much going on hopefully you guys enjoyed that some brilliant racing some good fair racing it is touring cars technically as well so obviously there's going to be a little bit of door bumping but you know what as long as it's done properly that's it in fact no sorry josh you are right it is a reverse grid race thank you i forget that every single week thank you josh i do that every time do you want to be my admin secretary? <laughs> but um, no, yeah, it is a reverse grid race. So we're going to see Psycho Dynamic and Game Ranger starting on the last row. We're going to see Mad Marshall uh, surreptitiously uh, at the front. Now, this could be good for Rip Cross. Obviously, he had that problem in the first race. He dropped to the back of the field, managed to regain it up to 11th. But this means that he's now going to be starting from P3. So this is definitely going to be interesting for him. And just while we've got a few minutes before the next race starts, guys in the comments there, that first race from what you've seen, driver of the race, can you pick one? Because it's so hard to pick out what's going on. Um, but yeah, who would you have picked as driver of the race in that first race there? Um, don't worry about the action going on at the moment. The driver's just got a chance to practice before race two gets underway in about five minutes' time. But who was driver of the race for race one? Give me your thoughts. Tell me what you think. I'd love to hear what you have got to say. Also, if you haven't done already, um, hit the subscribe button as well. 98 subs. Christmas present would be if someone could make me hit 100. Please, get me to 100. It'd be absolutely phenomenal to get to 100 It'd be absolutely brilliant to do so um but that would be amazing also i'm back on the channel tomorrow night as well uh, more action from next gen racing this time on project cars 2 it's the v8 supercar championship series uh round number four of that from daytona's international road course the rovo uh there tomorrow night so 15 minute qualifying 35 minute race for that one so that'll be tomorrow night tuesday here on the channel, 8 o'clock start time from that one. It'd be lovely if you could join us for that as well. And obviously you've got lots going on um, through Next Gen as well. If you do want to get involved, the links will be posted below after the race. I will get a description updated. I'll link you to the Facebook page and stuff like that. Plenty of leagues going on in the PlayStation 4 across GT Sport. We've also got the Focus Cup. We've got uh, the Virtual GT4, European GT4 Championship, which is based off the real life equivalent as well, which is absolutely brilliant on Sundays. Uh, we've got P Project Cars 2, the likes of the V8 Supercars tomorrow night. Uh, ongoing at the moment, actually, elsewhere, is the Monday Night Tourers, Group A's, Touring Cars, and Cle Clio Cups. Clio Cup on Saturday nights in Project Cars 2. And there's going to be a new Clio Cup competition uh, starting from next year, in, in the new year, uh, on GT Sport as well. So if you are a GT Sport player and want to get involved in that, have a look. We've also got an F1 2018 Championship. That's 8 o'clock on Thursdays. A brand new two next gen racing. There's even a set of courses as well. Uh, classic DTMs. Uh, really, really good championship that one also. And we've also started Race Room as well on the PC, so expanding as we go along. And so if you do want to get involved with some good racing, do join Next Gen Racing and have a look through the page on Facebook and you'll be able to updated with what's going on. Let's have a look, see venues are put driver off the race. Josh, you were obviously picking himself there, Scott, your Dursh, because it's you. But you're the only one that's voted so far, so you're winning technically at the moment. You know? um, so I'm sure you'd probably be happy with that. Tenth place in the first race. You had a bit of, a, a bit of time to yourself there. You had a wee bit of time to those behind and in front. As we see Fredo Dynamic, eh, sorry, Dino Blaster and Game Ranger having a little bit of a bump in the practice session. And if they're going to do that, I'd rather they've done it now than do it later on. So... Oh, Fred getting very wide there coming through. We're coming up to starting the final race of the evening. Reverse grid. 
and I'll just show you one more time if I go to here. You can see it on the side there. 30 lap race, reverse grid order. You can pick any tyre you want from hard all the way up to the super softs. Fuel wear times 10, uh, sorry, tyre wear times 10, fuel depletion times 8, and you start with a 70 litre tank. And as it is within GT Sport, it's quite a slow fill up. But it's the same for everybody, obviously. And we seen last week in the feature race, it was NGR Cutler, if I remember correctly, who won the feature race. And unlike most people, he only made one stop in that race. There is the man himself, the A Reeves Motorsport Machine. And he managed to get the fuel absolutely spot on. So he did. So he'll be trying to repeat that feat here tonight. I'm absolutely sure of that one. Got a few minutes to go now, 10 past is the start time, so these guys have got a couple of minutes here just to get their last couple of lap times in for a little bit of last minute practice. And I've got a wee minute to try and catch my breath before I try and do 30 laps of this. Oh boy, is this going to be fun! Proving to be a very popular series, this. Obviously sponsored by Chloe Hewitt, which we absolutely so appreciative of. Um, she's a real life racer in the UK Cooper Cup series. Finished fourth place this season as well. Really good result there from Chloe. And it is NGR Cuddles, as I said early doors. I just find them, wherever he is hiding. Not on here. At the he's not in the track at the moment, so he'll be in in a minute. Uh, he's racing in her livery, as I say. Quite a few of these cars are based on real life liveries. Um, the ones that I'm aware of off the top of my head, NGR Cutler, he's got one on there, A Reeve Motorsport Machine that he is in, and that is run by Will Ferdo, I believe it is. Uh, Cutler himself, 45 year old IT field source engineer. Um, so it just shows you a big vast variety. We've got Cutler there 45, we've got uh, an executive director who's not here tonight unfortunately, but he is from South Africa. We've got an animator from London, an NGR Game Ranger. Uh, we've got a Valitzer from Surrey, which is Big Z. Uh, so, you know, it's a whole mix and that's the thing I love about Sim Racing. It appeals to all comers. Whether you're young, whether you're a bit older, I mean I'm 31, crying out loud. Um, it just, it transcends across, it doesn't matter, it's all about having fun and being able to race and I, I absolutely find it brilliant, I love every bit of it. And now here we go, so all to the track for race number two, here we go. <laughs> right. Everybody, take a very deep breath, because this is going to be 30 laps of insanity. A reverse grid to go with it as well. Got Mad Marshall at the front, surreptitiously in second. There's Rip Cross in third, as I mentioned. And then all the way down to the back, you've got NGR Cutler 10th, Dino Blaster 11th, and you've got Game Ranger and Psycho Dynamic at the back. So here we go. For the second race of tonight, the Chloe Hewitt Cooper Cup on Next Gen Racing is round three, race number two, feature race, 30 laps long. And we're underway. And it looks like Fred's got a decent start there in seventh place. We'll look towards the front of the field. You can see surreptitiously, he's got the jump on Mad Marshall. Ripcross has got the jump as well, so a poor start from Mad Marshall. He looks like he's staying out of the way. He did have surgery last week as well, so maybe just being a bit more mindful because of that. Bixie looking to get a run on NGR Cuddles in the background there. You can see as well Dino Blaster, Game Ranger, Cutler, 
uh, psychodynamic in there as well so it's going to get pretty messy coming into the chicane for the first time game range and Cutler bumping door handle to door handle there and coming up through Rip Cross has managed to get himself into first place Cuddles is currently in second place surreptitiously dropping down he's now third Fred into fourth Big C fifth we've got uh, Scar Wars in sixth place there he sneaked his way through in the NGR machine uh, Dino Blaster in there as well here we go so lap one done uh, Fredo in fourth place, got Bigsy looking to the outside line, getting into dusky territory here at Kyoto. The lights are on and the clouds have came in. It's not going to rain, obviously, but it is such a lovely atmosphere to see with the cloud cover coming And There's Bigsy looking to the outside. Scar Wars and Dino Blaster having a wee look through the chicane section. Here goes Game Ranger getting past Scorpio Dirge. Uh, who gave himself driver of the race for race number one. <laughs> yeah, well, we, that's one way to win it, I guess. Uh, you can see there Cutler in the background as well, and there is Psychodynamic in 11th battle, and with Burnt Fry, uh, 12th place, Matt Marshall, who started in the pole, has dropped down to the back. And Rip Cross in the lead from NGR Cuddles. Look at us surreptitiously. And Fred going side by side down towards turn one. You can see the burnt fry there. Having a look at Psychodynamic as well in the background. Fred looks like he's got that move done. NGR Big Z looking to the outside of the Glaswegian. Fred's got the move done. And if he free for now, but surreptitiously not giving up at the moment. Fred gets the move done, look there, Bigsy trying to squeeze his way through as well, and surreptitiously he's got a chance there, Cuddles is dropping into the middle, there's nearly three wide there, Bigsy on the grass, surreptitiously holds on for now, uh, Dino Blaster now is going to sneak his way up the inside, Game Ranger there, Scar Wars has dropped back, surreptitiously side by side with NGR, Cuddles coming through the chicane, and Cuddles has to back off before getting a warning there, in the background someone else with a warning, and that is... Scorpio Dirge getting the slowdown penalty. He's got Burnt Fry and Psychodynamic. Don't surely really, they're not going to go free wide one either side. It's a one. <laughs> Psychodynamic's going to get that one done there. Dino Blaster having a look at NGR Cuddles. They're two by two going into turn one up ahead. Uh, Cuddles holds on for now. Surreptitiously, he's managed to make himself back up to third place. And where has Fred gone? He's actually up to second place as Fred, so he's moved up. And Cuddles and Dino Blaster go rally crossing up to the breaking zone in the the right hander at the end of that straight Dino Blaster going very wide indeed Cuddles has got himself half a second's worth of penalties he's having to drop back here we go through the chicane Game Ranger has been the big gainer through that and he's got a run on surreptitiously going down the front straight as Big Z goes past Cuddles as well there's Dino Blaster who's got himself a half a second penalty to deal with as well going by Scar Wars in the background surreptitiously down to fourth place game ranger they'll be happy being up to third place he's managed to drop the likes of dino blaster ngr cutler scar wars and psychodynamic still down in 10th place at the moment not making much headway towards the front of the fields we come through the chicane section dino blaster cutler and scar wars there is bigsy going up the inside of surreptitiously which has jumped it out real quickly catch that end of the move it looks like surreptitiously he's going to have to give that one up there. Cutler and Dino Blaster side by side. Can Cutler get the move done? He has. He's ahead of Dino Blaster now. It's a good move there uh, from the A Reeves Motorsport Machine. Moving into seventh place surreptitiously. Down to fifth place as Bigsy moves up into fourth place now. Cuddles be having a look there as well. Game Ranger still got Dino Blaster behind him. Psychodynamic now up in the ninth place. Burnt Fry in 10th place, Scorpio Dirge in 11th, we've got Scar Wars in 12th, Mad Marshall at the back of the field in 13th place in the Sparks machine but Rip Cross, the Dutchman two seconds clear, 2.2 seconds clear of Fredo, now Rip Cross won the feature race at Dragon Trail, round number one a few weeks back there, so we're trying to do the same here again, now that we've got just a wee second, let's look at the tyre choices, so we've got Soft Medium, and then Soft for Game Ranger We've got Bigsy on the mediums, but surreptitiously on the mediums as well. Then we've got Cuddles on the soft tyres, Cutlers on the soft, hard tyres for Dino Blaster, so that's an interesting choice. He's obviously going to hopefully go as long as possible then, he'll be hoping maybe not need to make a tyre change. Psychodynamic is on the mediums, Burnt Fries on the soft tyres, but Scorpio Dirge on the mediums, as is Scar Wars, who's dropped back to 12th place, so he's obviously had a bit of a bump and Mad Marshall on the harder compound tyres, so 
that's going to make an interesting point of things as we go through things as well. There is Fred in second place. He's now got company from Game Ranger. He's going to need to be careful uh, or Game Ranger will be past him uh, very, very shortly. Game Ranger, real name Matt Smart, 42-year-old. That was the animator from London. And he's trying to make his way through the field, having started towards the back, being second. So he's starting 12th. He's already up to third so far in the race. He's trying to move his way up in a second. In fact, he's got the run up the inside as I hit all the wrong buttons and jumped to the wrong people. He's got the outside line for the chicane. He's going to have to swing across but still leave enough of a gap. Now got the inside line and he is through into second place. Well, Fred mount an attack into the only braking zone on the track. Tries to go a long way around but Game Ranger's got that one covered and he is through into second place. Further back, Big Z has managed to get a bit of a gap on surreptitiously. The Glass region running wide there though. That's going to allow Cutler the chance to get a run up towards turn number one possibly and Cutler is going to be right on the tail here, here we go, on to the roof camera, in fact let's go to the bumper camera in fact it's not even working, there we go, bumper cam perfect, that's what I wanted really close here, you can see just how close they get, and surreptitiously running wide it's going to allow Cutler through, surreptitiously he's actually on the grass I believe, he's managed to collect it, easy move there for Cutler up into fifth place Dino Blaster will be the next one to have a go at surreptitiously. As you can see, Cuddles uh, getting past there by the burnt fry for eighth place. Psychodynamic will be the next one to have a go there. Dino Blaster going the long way around the Glass region into the next turn. And can he get the move done? He's got space there through the fast chicane. He's now got the inside. And David uh, surreptitiously trying to hold on down towards turn number one, but Dino Blaster's got the move done, the Dutchman now up into sixth place in the Vintex machine. And we are now on to lap time, it's repetitiously, has a look up the inside, he's not going to give that one up, we're a fight. Can he get the move done? Dino Blaster holding it round the outside, can he get the move done here and pass by, and he swings in front and holds the place off, so having made the pass before the start line, he's still holding on, but Surreptitiously really pushing it. Oh, you don't want to be doing that there, sir. Into the arm core. It's a heavy hit. Luckily, no damage on here. And that's going to drop him down to eighth place there. He loses seventh to the burnt try. Rip cross into the pits for an early pit stop. As is Game Ranger. So Fred now takes the lead. And you can see there Big C also coming into pit lanes. So the pit stops have begun. We've got a few guys in the pits, but we're sticking here. Psychodynamic, surreptitiously, Scorpio Dodge and Scar Wars. This is 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th. And we're going to go three wide through here? Surely not. Oh, Josh, be careful going on the outside of that one, son. He manages to hold on. Psychodynamic getting a lot of attention here as he gets through from starting very last in 13th place. Oh, Scorpio Dodge there having a touch of side toward the uh, back I even speak bumper to bumper side touching there between the two of them surreptitiously on the grass into the breaking zone Scorpio Durge up the inside can he get the move done and he does so in Scar Wars now he's going to try and have a go and he's going to get past surreptitiously but it looks at it as well he's actually going to look to the outside of uh, Scorpio Durge but cast it back out surreptitiously still holding on to the position for now and Scar Wars has now got the attention surreptitiously he's trying to keep 7th place and holds on for now and now he's looking to the inside of Scorpio Durge so from nearly losing 7th to go 8th he's now trying to go back up to 6th place great driving from these guys in the midfield here this is over 6th place at the moment oh, door handle a door handle going on there and they are still going at it. We're going to stick with this for just a moment. Fred is still out in the lead. Scorpio Durge really wide. He's really crossing on the grass. Can he get it back together for the breaking zone? Yes, he does indeed. But he has to concede the place to Serpentitious. So good driving from all involved there. Fred now has the attention of NGR Cutler. And if we just cut to here, you see Cutler's got a quarter tank. Fred has got about half a quarter tank left. So he's going to be in the pits. And look at that front. Is that a front left? That is looking absolutely horrible on that car. And yet Cutler on the softer tyres is looking much better. So he's got a much smoother driving style, it would seem, uh, than Fred. Dino Blaster has got the attentions of the Burnt Fry coming up behind. He has got a quarter tank. Uh, the Burnt Fry's got a little bit more, but that soft tyre again on the left-hand side looking pretty worse for wear. And we'll see if anyone comes into the pits on this lap here. 
Cut was right behind Fredo. I expect Fredo to fly for the pits. Puts the indicator on uh, con considerately to let people know he's going. And he's pit lane. Dino Blaster in for the pits as well. So he is in. And the burnt fry goes into second. Cycle Dynamic moves into third place. That was surreptitiously heading for pit lane in the background. Scorpio Dirge carries on. Sub uh, Cuddles is a lap down having pitted already so he's trying to stay out of the way at the same time he's trying to gain ground as well because he's still in a race of his own he'll be fighting with these guys when it comes to the end of the pit stop so Scorpio Durge in fourth Scar Wars is going to sneak up the inside there the Scorpio Durge runs wide door handle it door handle up to the chicane we're already halfway through this race believe it or not it has flown by uh, there is Rip Cross in 6th place. Now he's the first one to have pitted. He was in the lead. You can see his fuel's going down pretty rapidly already. So using a lot of it. He's also got the fuel mix turned right up. There's Mad Marshall. And he's still not pitted, I don't believe. So he could maybe one stop this. This could be good for him. Still got a lot of fuel left. There is Game Ranger. Having pitied. You can see he's got over half a tank now. On the medium tyres. And we can see there's Big Z. In the background as well, Cuddles in Thames Place. You got Dino Blaster still in pit lane. As I say, it's an awful long fill up time uh, in these cars. It really does take an awful lot of time to do. I had been talking removing uh, the fuel from the games. Dino Blaster rejoins in 12th place. He's got Mad Marshall going the long way round to lap him. Surpetitiously at the pit season 13th. Uh, and last at the moment. Here is your race leader, it is NGR Cutler and I'm going to put my neck out here and say it. he will be looking to run the fuel game like he did the last time at Brands Hatch last time out and he only had to make one stop while well, most others around him had to make two stops so expect to see that Scorpio Dirge, the latest to come into pit lane. Psychodynamics up to second place. There he is, he's seven and a half seconds down at the moment. Scar Wars is five seconds down on Psychodynamic. Nez Ripcross, who was the first one to pit from the lead of the race, having started third with the reverse grid. He's in fourth place at the moment, but he's using that fuel up already down to a quarter of a tank. So you keep an eye on that. He'll be in pits for his second stop for four long. Mad Marshall chasing down Dino Blaster as Cutler finally comes into pit lane. Change of tyres. For the A-Reeve Motorsport Machine, puts the soft tyres back on Psycho Dynamic and as well, change the tyres also, stays with the medium tyres, and now feeling the car up seems to take for an age, but it is the same for everybody. Scar Wars goes into the lead of the race on lap 17 of 30, and as I say, already halfway through the race, starting to just get a little bit eased up now, which is good for my voice, thank goodness for that. Uh, Ripcross in second place, but I'm expecting to see him pitting within the next couple of laps for at least a top up of fuel. Uh, those neutral tyres are not too bad. You can see obviously with a lot of drivers, the left tyre is the one, left front is the one taking the worst wear around this track. Uh, so that is where it obviously all the way if more track turns to the right means that the yeah, either way, it's the one taking the most damage. I'll, I can't even go and try and figure it out. <laughs> there you go. Game Ranger is going to look up the inside of Mad Marshall into the braking zone for the right hander at the back end of the track, and he gets the move done. He moves up into third place, so that puts him onto the podium. You see Big Z there in the background. He's got Burnt Fry nearest to him, but he's got eight seconds as Cutler came back out in seventh place now. I don't expect to see Cutler back in the pits, even though he's only got half a tank. I think he's going to play that strategy game. I think he's got the fuel turned right down. And I think we're going to see him go to the end of this race. So keep an eye on that one. There is Psychodynamic. He is in 8th place at the moment. He's got a fresh set of medium tyres, just over half a tank of fuel. And his fastest lap is well, his last lap time is a 51.7 obviously he'd been in pit lane there so not representative of what he normally does there is NGR Cuddles in ninth place and you'll notice as he runs under the grass there if you look at this livery and compare it to that one they're pretty much the same except one's a zebra print and one's a cheetah leopard print uh, Fred is Chloe Hewitt's brother and he's running 10th place at the moment you can see Scorpio Dodge and Dino Blaster here Dino Blaster Looking to make his way back through after his pit stop. 
he should have enough fuel to do the end of the race. He's got super soft tyres on as well, so he's wanting to make a charge through the field. And he's going to look to the outside into the braking zone. Can he go the long way round? No, he cannot. You can see Scorpio Dirty's car's got a little bit of a dent on the back there, just round the boot lid. And Dino Blaster here. Going to try and get the run up towards turn one. Scorpio Dirty tries to cut him off a little bit aggressive there, but nothing too much. They didn't cause too much of a problem there. Dino Blaster didn't have to brake, so you can let that be. It is touring cars. You can have it allow for a little bit of a bump and a grind. Dino Blaster trying to go the long way around again. Fred's going to need to be careful. He's going to get swallowed up by these two before long if he's not careful. And that's going to cost him some time. Scar Wars is still in the lead of this race from Rick Cross as Dino Blaster pushes Scorpio Dirge. He's now got the inside line for the braking zone. This is the only real braking zone on the track. Can the Dutchman finally get the move done in the Vintex machine? He's got it done for now, but Dirge isn't giving up without a fight. Come through the fast chicane section. Dino Blaster has to use the grass to avoid any contact there. He's got the move done for now. Rip Cross, though, just up ahead, has moved into the lead of this race ahead of Scar Wars, who is in second. Scar Wars is definitely doing a one-stop strategy uh, in this race for sure. Game Ranger is in third place at the moment. He's, gonna, he's trying to go to the end of the race as well. He's obviously dialed the fuel back there. Big C in fourth place at the moment. Check his fuel gauge. He's going to be pitting this lap. He's on the red. So he's going to be making a two stops. Mad Marshall. He's got just under a quarter of a tank. He's not pitted at all yet. So he could probably do a quick splash and dash of some description if he can get away with it. Uh, Carson37 in the chat. Should I buy this game? Yes, you should. Come join next gen and get involved with us. It'd be lovely to have you along. Uh, as I said earlier on, I will post descriptions below and links to the Facebook page where we run everything. So, yes, you should buy this game. But if you don't have it, we also do Project Cars 2, a set of Corsa F1 2018. Dirt Rally as well, actually, is one I missed earlier on. And we also do Race Room on the PC now as well as Rip Cross into the pits for his second stop. He's obviously just filling up with fuel this time round, unless they've already changed the tyres. That puts Scar Wars back into the lead of this race and you can see there Fred and Dino Blaster a lap down in the background they're on lap 21 Scar Wars and 22 but he's going to be in the pits before long I would imagine can Dino Blaster get past Fred going into turn number one Uh, ben Doyle on the chat, could you join the session? I don't know if there's space at the moment, but as I say, what I'll do is I will post links to the Facebook page for Next Gen Racing, and there'll be all the details there of the leagues that are run. There's sometimes chances to fill in uh, for other drivers that are normally in. Oh, Scar Wars in the lead of this race, getting swallowed up in a battle for 10th and 11th, two seconds there, I'll be back with you in a second. Scar oh, into the wall goes Scar Wars, though. What was going on there? I just caught it at the end as I was reading the comments, and the battle for 10th catching the leader out there and he needs to be careful Scorpio Dirge is in 12 wanting to get in the back of this as well that next gen machine at the front looking a bit worse for wear on the paint job you can see he is on the red line for fuel so he will be in the pits for a splash and dash they were hoping that will be enough to get to the end of the race but this man Game Ranger will be hoping to get to the end of the race what are you tank left he's probably got it leaned out Here's Cutler, he's in third place, he'll be doing the same thing as well, he's got over a quarter tank, but he's got the Burnt Fry coming up behind him, and he's got just over a quarter of a tank as well, so we're into the final part of the race, the leader's about to go into lap 25 in just a moment's time, I'm trying to bring it back to here, Fred and Dino Blaster are still battling, the Dutchman's still trying to get past the Brit, and Dino Blaster decides pitting, is the right thing for him to do, so he heads for pit lane. Here comes Game Ranger. So he's decided to pit as well. Maybe just wanting a top up. Uh, no, he's changing tyres. So that's an interesting strategy there. And he's away after that, so he's just wanting fresher tyres. And he is back out in second place. Here goes Cutler coming through in third place. And that was a strange run for Game Ranger because he's now nine seconds behind Scar Wars. The Scar was you know, he's got to be pitting this lap. So Game Ranger putting the fresh tyres on has possibly made a bit of a good move there. 
Uh, Scarhors will surely be in the pits this lap. He's still not paid. 25 laps he's managed on those tyres in that tanky fuel, I do believe. You can see that front left tyre is knackered. He's carrying on for another lap. Does this car run on fumes? We'll keep an eye on his progress. Game Ranger now on the soft tyre, though. He can basically push the tyres as far as he wants, but you need to keep an eye on that fuel range. Cutler has managed to shake off Burnt Fry for the moment. He's about to have the attention to Psychodynamic in the background. Uh, but yeah, back to yourself, Ben, on the chat. Um, there's, I'll put the links below to Next Gen's page after the race, so do drop drop back into the video afterwards, there will be links below. Uh, do a number of leagues across many different games on the PlayStation 4 predominantly, and even though the season's in mid-flow, uh, there is always the chance to drop in and be a filler uh, for races, and if obviously enough people don't join and you become a regular filler, you start to become a regular in the series. So I will drop it below, it'd be great to have the likes of yourself, and also Carson as well saying, should you buy the game? Yes, you should do it indeed. Scar Wars finally ends the pit lane from P1, that puts Game Ranger now into the lead of this race as he goes on to lap 27 of 30, so four laps to go here at Kyoto Miyabe. Andrea Cutler moves into second place in the race. He's got Burnt Fry coming up in third, who is making his debut in the series. A filler, as I was just talking about there, this is one of the examples. Burnt Fry not raced so far this series, um, and he's joined in this evening. Psychodynamic first race was last week, and he won first race out in the sprint race at Brands Hatch. So if you're quick enough, you can certainly be right up there straight away. Scar Wars comes back out in fifth place after his pit stop he's just done a quick splash and dash so he's obviously running that marine mode all the way through so that could be a good result for him to get six mad marshall who's running very wide there about rally crossing he's got ngr cuddles behind who's in last now marshall's surely going to be in the pits here because that fuel gauge is pretty low he's got the hazards are blinking Here he comes, as expected, into pit lane. So he's going to drop down the field, so that's going to put Rip Cross back up into 6th place. And it's going to move Fred up into 7th place and Dino Blaster into 8th, depending on how quick he comes out of the pits. And this man, coming on to start his penultimate lap, NGR Game Ranger. The winner first time out in the sprint race at Dragon Trail. He's been there or there about when it comes to each of the races that we've had so far at Dragon Trail and Brands Hatch. And he goes on to his penultimate lap. You can see the fuel gauge is flashing red. He's probably got it turned down to the lean mix. And can he make it to the end of the race? Cutler, who'd done exactly the same thing last time out at Brands Hatch, on for a podium. That would be a brilliant result for him one more time. Good points now that the championship is in full flow with the three classes, I will get class results for you uh, in time for next time out. So don't worry about that. Psychodynamic has moved up to third place, started last obviously, due to being the winner in race one, and now in third place trying to get to the end of the race. Burn Island, Burn Fry, sorry, fighting with Scar Wars. Coming through the final corner as they come on to the final lap. And we get the move done. He's got ahead at the moment. Scar Wars is still going to try his best. But here comes your race leader. NGR Game Ranger. Coming through on his final lap. Through the final couple of corners now. He's got 12 seconds behind them. So even with that blinking fuel gauge, he can take it easy from here. And he comes through the final two corners nice and easy. Across the line, you can see a battle going on for 7th, 8th and 9th. We'll jump to that in a minute, but NGR Game Ranger wins the feature race here of round number 3 at Kyoto Miyabe. And Dino Blasters managed to get ahead of Mad Marshall and Fred. And these two, these three battling away. Cutler comes across to take second place. Psychodynamic will round out the podium. These three are expecting to see through the rest of the EA season. Scar Wars comes across in fourth. Burnt Fry takes fifth. Rip Cross in sixth place. And Dino Blaster looks like he's done enough. Fredo's up into eighth place. So something happened there when we were watching people come across the line. I wanted to see them. I try my best to get everyone across the line as much as I can. Uh, so something happened there. Dino Blaster coming through. He's going to take 7th place. Fred's going to take 8th. 
Uh, it's going to be Mad Marshall. He's just running slowly. He's out of fuel, actually, so that's what's happened. He's lucky there's no one else. Scorpio Dirge, uh, Big Z, surreptitiously, and Cuddles have all finished. And Mad Marshall rolls across the line to take ninth place. Scorpio Dirge in 10th, Big Z in 11th, Cuddles 12th, and surreptitiously in 13th place. So that's what happened to Marshall then. He ran out of fuel, and that allowed Fredo to get through as well and Dino Blaster to pull away. But there is your winner, NGR Game Ranger, up 11 places from his starting position in that reverse grid race, 30 laps around the Kyoto Miyabi circuit. Whew! Well, that was a very fun evening indeed, if I do say so myself. Absolutely brilliant racing from everyone involved. Hopefully, I've done a good job of keeping up to speed with everything on the track for you all that was watching. Thank you very much to everybody who joined in during the session as well, in the chat, or even just dropping in. I think i even seen upwards of nearly 20 uh, viewers at one point, which I think for a live stream is possibly a record for my channel. So thank you very much, guys. This is absolutely brilliant, and thank you very much for the comments below. Dino Blaster, uh, Josh, they're saying great country. Thank you very much, guys. I'm really glad that you all enjoy it. But that is it for tonight. As I say, I am back on this channel tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, for Next Gen Racing's V8 Supercar Series on Project Cars 2. It's at the Daytona Roval Circuit. It's a night race as well, so that's going to be a very interesting one. Now, I do believe that after tonight we are now on a two-week break for the Christmas and New Year period. Uh, we will be back in the new year. If that changes, uh, I will post it on Twitter, but I'm absolutely positive I am correct. Do follow me on Twitter as well, actually. Andy81287 is the Twitter handle as well, and I'll keep you up to date with all I get on with in terms of commentaries uh, between my own channel and other stuff as well. So back tomorrow at 8 for Next Gen's V8 Supercars and Project Cars 2. Thursday night you can catch me on TTTV uh, commentating on the Monaco Grand Prix Round 6 of TTLF1 on there. That's an 8 o'clock start as well. Uh, and Sundays normally I do AOR, but that's off for the Christmas break. Uh, so I will update anything that goes on during Christmas. But that is it for this evening. I am away to have the largest drink possible after all of that, because I am absolutely knackered. But as I say, thank you very much for joining. And until next time, we'll see you again soon. If I do not see you before then, have a lovely Christmas and a fantastic New Year. But my name is Andy, and until next time, I'll see you soon. Ta-da.